Hey there cats and kitties, I am the Blues Man, Johnny Blues, and with this video I wanted to pose to you guys a question of hype versus finding properties on your own. Uh, when it comes to entertainment stuff like gaming, novel series, movies, anime series, and such like that, you know, I had a question posed to me in a common thread on another video uh, that I uploaded to YouTube where basically somebody was asking me, how would I describe Cowboy Bebop? And this is, you know, such a phenomenal groundbreaking life-altering anime series for me personally it has touched people beyond its own genre because of its westernized sensibilities and I found myself you know really sort of up against a rock and a hard place in trying to describe this series without wanting to overhype it but it just sort of naturally flowed out all of these like hyping up aspects all of its greatest aspects in response to that question and I found myself, you know, after watching a video from the Funhouse crew, formerly Inside Gaming, where they were talking about games that get hyped up and such like that, and are ultimately proven disappointing, how, you know, where does that line fall, is basically the question I have, between hyping something up and between uh, being allowed, you know, to let somebody find it themselves. Because, I mean, you look at, like, the Back to the Future trilogy, who, in their right mind, isn't going to hype that up about how, you know, much of a touchstone of our lives it was, how life-altering and changing and influential it was. How can you describe something like that, like a Cowboy Bebop, without inherently hyping it up. And then you have properties like, uh, you know, the Twilight series, the Hunger Games, Harry Potter, which are things I tend to avoid because on certain levels they don't seem like, you know, something I'd necessarily be interested in. In the case of Hunger Games, it was largely because of the hype. I wanted nothing to do with it. And after so long, you know, I've started looking at it. Uh, I've heard some, you know, a claim from it from a friend of mine who hasn't overly hyped it up and hasn't uh, sort of, you know, blown it out of proportion like the niches uh, that people fall into and the sort of fad viewpoint where it's like it's the latest cool thing you have to get into. And seeing it on more of a ground level, it really piqued my interest now. I really want to check it out. I've looked at the trailers and I've been really intrigued by it. Whereas at first, just because of the hype, because of that fad culture approach to it, it turned me off. So, I mean, when you have things like the Final Fantasy franchise, you know, you build it up because of how influential it was for you personally or how influential it was for an entire, you know, mass of fans and such like that. Where does that line drop? I think it's a fine line between describing something with hype, with how influential it was to you, with how uh, much it has touched and or altered and affected you, between that and, like, just sort of saying, oh, you know, Cowboy Bebop is really good, you should check it out. Where does that line drop? Uh, should you have limitations on how much you want to hype something up? Like, I've read uh, almost the entirety of the Fletch novel series, and I couldn't more highly recommend people to check these out because they are fast-paced, they're witty, they're, uh, you know, just absolutely hilarious. Forget witty. Um, but, you know, there are twists and turns and there are mysteries involved, and it's like, should that be the limit of what I tell a person about that series? Or should I go more in depth? Should I hype up uh, more of the characterization and everything like that? I think it's a fine line, and I'd love to hear from my peers on YouTube who do reviews and uh, have their own franchises and things that they are really passionate about and really enjoy and like, whether that be games, books, uh, movies, you know, TV series. Where do you personally think that line should drop between hyping something up in recommendation form and just sort of passively acknowledging something as good and trying to let the other person find it for themselves. Because I think there's something to be said for people finding things and coming to things on their own that makes it that much more enjoyable for them. So I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments below or as a video response what you think on this topic about that line being drawn in the sand between overly hyping and letting people find things themselves. And uh, yeah, I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. So otherwise, that'll be pretty much it for me on this. I hope this video finds you well, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.